Hey YouTube friends, SurvivalCraft here. I came out to paint Mr. Leonidas's, that is Justin's, uh, hatchet. This is a Fiskars X7 hatchet that he won in one of my contests. And recently I picked it up from him. I did some custom stippling on the handle and I'm now going to camouflage it like I did mine. Now before I start this project, I'm gonna do another small project and that's what's gonna be the, the focus of this video. I am going to do a little bit of paint work on this grenade pouch. It's a British military 40 millimeter grenade pouch and right now it's in Syrian desert camo. But I want it to blend in a little bit better around here, which means it needs a little bit of green. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some spot camo on this using Rust-Oleum paint. And I'm going to give you a little bit of tips and tricks to do that. I'm going to be focusing primarily on that buckle. As you can see, it's black even though the rest of this is camouflage. So I want it to blend in a little bit better. Plus, I'm going to add a little bit of green to the fabric. Now, this is Cordura, and Cordura fabric will soak up some of this paint. When you spray it on there, you have to do it in stages. And the reason is, is because if you go ahead and just try to spray it all in at once, what you'll get is you'll get a heavy amount of clumping and it looks awful. So hit it real quick, you may not even really see that anything's there, but what you're doing is you're allowing the fabric to soak up as much of the paint as possible and then it'll start appearing. Now, if you're, you're worried about this stuff, yeah, it does give a little bit of a rough texture to the fabric and it will chip off over time. The thing is, is that just kind of adds character. That adds a, a little bit of extra camouflaging as it chips off. As for the roughness, uh, it's just something you deal with because you can't clear coat it, so you got the roughness of this flat paint on the surface. I, it really doesn't bother me, but some of you out there may be bothered by that. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit these buckles with a little bit of light green. Uh, and I kind of, I just mostly want to cover them up. Okay, that's one. And then we'll do the other. I don't care if it gets on the pouch, because I'm not, I'm, I'm trying to camouflage the pouch as well. Sorry if I'm taking this out of camera range every once in a while. It's a little difficult to make sure this is, this is all in. Uh, now, I'm going to let those dry. I won't touch those, but I'm going to kind of hit this a little bit with the darker green. And to do that, I'm going to lay over some of this burlap. I showed this in the previous video when I did my Fiskars hatchet. And all I do is I have a bunch of uh, strings here, and I kind of pull them out into a kind of a... I don't know, organic, amorphous pattern. And I just lay them on there and I kind of spray over it. And this will help to break up the pattern. This is actually holding paint pretty well. A lot of, a lot of the fabric I use, it, as soon as you spray it on, you can't even tell that it's been, it's been sprayed. It just it just soaks right in. This one seems to be keeping it on the on the outside. It's not soaking it in. So that means I'm not going to have to put as many coats on this to get it right. Now, of course, I'm not looking for perfection. In fact, this may look kind of poor when I'm done, but that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for a, a basic camouflage, just trying to break up this the pattern and I'm also trying to give it a little bit more color so it blends in with my location. So this is the finished product. As you can see some of the camo, original camo is coming through, but I've added a little bit of green so that it blends in better with my environment here in southeast Tennessee. And so uh, I'm, I'm really liking this, especially the buckle right on top. 
because it has that tiger striping and that's due to that burlap. So if you want to personalize some of your gear, you can do this type of stuff to it. Of course, I, I probably recommend to do it on cheap gear. This was really cheap. I think I only picked it up for a dollar when I lived in the UK. Or excuse me, a pound when I lived in the UK. And this, it's, it's a great little pouch. I'm going to stick it to the outside of a uh, Ontario knife machete. And the, the sheath has already been painted because it came in black and I didn't like the black. So I painted it kind of this color. And so I'm going to strap it to the outside of that sheath. And it'll hold some basic materials, some sharpening, sharpening stuff, a little bit of band-aids in case I cut myself, blah, blah, blah. Please support the Survival Craft channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. I have a new video up every Tuesday and Thursday at noon. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.